Okay, and I'm going to place the heater here, and the reason I'm doing that is because we have a bit of a hallway here with a closet. It's important that I'm going to get the heat in throughout the, the, the head of the bed, through this side of the room, but I also want it heading in that direction so we can share this heat with that space there. And I'm going to place a fan over on that side of the bed and one here as well. So the airflow is going to be hitting that wall like this. I'm going to be sharing 50% of it with, with the closet in this area here. And the other 50% of it, because it, it's being divided by the wall, is going to go back into the treatment. Fans are what's really doing the heavy lifting and, and getting that heat into the different spaces and driving that heat down into things like in between the box spring and the mattresses, the overstuffed sofas, in between those little cracks and crevices and, and pieces of wood, and really driving that heat deep down and killing the bugs. So fans are extremely important when it comes to heat treating for bed bugs and making sure that you have good airflow in all parts of the room. Now I'm gonna open some drawers. I wanna make sure that I can get heat into all those areas where potentially there could be bed bugs. When I have drawers like this, I'm gonna do like a ladder. So the bottom one out the farthest, the middle one out like that, and the top one out the least. This way there's good airflow in through all there. I'm gonna open this up. Electronics are gonna be fine in the heat treatment, but you wanna make sure that they're unplugged. And now I'm just gonna open this up. Definitely wanna open that up so that the heat can get in, into those, that book area. I'm gonna open up the nightstand drawers here. Take a good look around, make sure nothing's gonna fly or get uh, blown off the wall, and I'm ready to start my heat treatment. In this particular case, it's a very light infestation, so I'm gonna take the bathroom completely out of the equation. I'm not even worried about a bed bug being in there. So I've just taken that square footage out of my treatment area. I'm gonna open this closet so that I can get good airflow in there with the fan that I was saying that we're gonna use that wall to kind of divide the heat. Box springs are made of one by ones and air. There is nothing dense about a box spring. The easiest thing in this entire room to heat is the box spring, which means that this mattress is gonna be heated from the air on top and from the air on the bottom. There's nothing, there's nothing to stop that. You don't wanna take the box spring and mattress where all the bed bugs are living and start disturbing them and standing them up, especially when there's no need. Now. The only caveat to that would be if there's two mattresses laying on top of each other, then now you have a lot of density. So I may separate those two mattresses with um, a chair or anything that, you know, a laundry basket, anything that can separate and get some airflow in between them. But with an average box spring and mattress like this, there, there's no need to lift them up or move them. Okay. I will, however, pull it away from the wall just a little bit. And I can do that simply by grabbing the box spring, and that's as much prep as I needed right there. Grab the box spring, just give it a little bit of a pull. Now I've got four, three to four inches of, of good airflow back behind there. 